the holidays are special for children. This holiday season is very special for some disabled children of Vietnam veterans. With financial help and incentives from the Agent Orange Class Assistance Program and Ronald McDonald Children's Charities, they came to Breckenridge to discover handicapped skiing or to improve on their skiing skills. 13-year-old Jeremiah Landreth was born with one leg, and he started skiing five years ago. Mom and Dad got me started because they thought it was really fun, and then I started racing. Jeremiah juggles his schoolwork around tedious training, but he gets a lot out of skiing. Just uh, the thrill and having all this training and stuff for free. Sharing the slopes with the U.S. Disabled Ski Team has encouraged this young man to chase his dream. Maybe the U.S. Ski Team gets sponsored by a lot of people. This is the first time skiing for 10-year-old Jeremy Hudson, who is paralyzed from the arms down with spina bifida. But he is no stranger to handicapped sports. Play football at school, uh, basketball at school, and uh, tennis and I'm thinking of playing a lot of other sports. Jeremy wants to learn to ski for the obvious reason. Just for the fun of it. What made you uh, decide to, to try to ski? Well, um, my, my uh, dad, Jim Hudson, uh, he works for the Agent Orange, Cla Agent Orange Class Assistance Program, and he told me about the, uh, the event, and that's when I decided to uh, try it. And uh, ever since I got down here, it's been a lot of fun. He too is inspired by the fine athletes competing in the Chapstick Challenge, and he hopes to try racing someday himself. Yeah, it builds up your muscle strength, and it's really a lot of fun. You should come out and try it. Jeremy's dad is excited about the role models his son has met at Breckenridge. He's seeing adults, teenagers, young people with all kinds of disabilities uh, doing things that most able-bodied people wouldn't take the risk to do and I think that's terrific. Uh, unfortunately that you don't see that many role models in, an, uh, for example, the school districts. Very few teachers have disabilities, very few administrators, uh, very few politicians and it's great to come out here and see uh, people doing things with their lives and uh, I think that's terrific for him. This really touches my heart. It really does. And it makes, it makes my job so much more pleasurable when I, I go back to Washington and we start making decisions about uh, serving kids and serving vets. It's, it's really good to feel that we're having some positive effect and to be able to talk to people. I mean, what, we're, what we are about is individuals, helping individual human beings. And if there's a legacy out of this program, I hope that's it, that we're able to establish a, a permanent community presence for Vietnam veterans and their families. Ginger Lane, representing Ronald McDonald Children's Charities, has more than a business interest in this event. A skiing accident six years ago left her a quadriplegic. She understands how handicapped kids who are always told they're different can really enjoy skiing. When they have the chance to ski, or to participate in some kind of sport, they see that they're not different. They may have to do things a little bit differently, but when they're there with their non-disabled peers and they're all having fun together, it's a tremendously uplifting kind of experience for them. And while she admires accomplished handicapped athletes, Ginger believes competition should be kept in perspective. For those people that, you know, we're sports-minded, and it's great to get back into it. But certainly a disability um, doesn't mean that you have to work harder than anybody else. Uh, you but just have fun, can't you? Absolutely. You can have fun. You don't have to compete. You don't have to be better than anybody else. You just have to try to do what you wanted to do and enjoy yourself. Stealing the show with her youthful charm and remarkable abilities was six-year-old Maggie Schmeichel, who began skiing on one leg when she was barely four years old. We went out, I set her on the snow, I gave her a push and told her to follow me. That's all it, all it took. She started making turns and just stood right up and came right down the hill. I mean, she didn't even fall down when I set her up. I just stood her on the snow and gave her a little push and away she went. She's aggressive. She goes at it and, and you know, just tackles everything. 
she's a gung-ho kid anyhow, and to see her out there just tearing a hill up and having a good time, and I've got pictures of her with her ponytail flying back and a smile on her face. And it's just, it's exciting. Uh, your coach tells me that you have a magic word. What is it? Yeah, hoser. What does that mean? It means we're having fun. It does, that's good. <laughs> so when do you yell that? Well, when we're going down the slopes and I have really fun. Maggie skiing also got her dad, a disabled Vietnam veteran, out on the slopes. You know, at first she kind of fell a lot and stuff like that, so I would go up behind her and, and kind of help out with the instructors and stuff. And I found it to be a really great sport too, so we've kind of incorporated it into our family now. It got him out, you know, to do something, you know, and not feel sorry for him, which, you know, a lot of problems with Vietnam veterans, you know, today and stuff, which he has a lot of problems, but kind of got him out to do something, you know, like a hobby or recreation. Her, Maggie's got him out to do more, let's say. Children are children. They'll do anything anyhow. They'll try anything you, you set before them. But it's the parents that are a little inhibited. And it helps get the parents motivated because they figure, well, oh, this child that's disabled may or may not be able to do something. And most times they're told that the children, because they're crippled, they can't do this and they can't do that. And with that, the parent says, okay, and they just let them sit and don't do a lot. With the funding that Agent Orange organization is putting forward, it's getting the parents motivated to get the children out to do something. Kind of let them go and, and you know, if, if they want to do something, even if, if you're not involved in it, get them involved in it. You know, because we weren't involved in skiing until Maggie was. So even if you're not, you know, involved in a sport and they're able to participate in it, you know, like with the Agent Orange program that we let her go, you know, if there's things available, recreation things available to get them involved. This little girl is not only having a lot of fun for herself, her skiing and her spirit spread the joy of the holiday season to those around her. And sometimes we go to the geriatric ward in the VA in, in Vancouver, Washington, and she cheers up the old veterans that have lost a limb or are down, you know, and she hops in there and cheers them up and stuff. So it gets her out a lot more. The smile, we got a magic word, it's called Yahoser. And she'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll ask her what the magic word is and she'll shout out Yahoser. She's going down the hill and this is a big grin on her face and it's just, I mean, it gets my heart going. I get excited just to see her skiing and having fun. Hi, my name is Sergeant Sanchez from Lake Zurich, Illinois. I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. <laughs>